Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing well at home. As we are done with the previous chapter, so now we are going to start a new chapter that is life in water. You know that water is a universal solvent because it can dissolve a large amount of substances in it. Now we are going to learn about the life in water, be that animals or plants the nutrients that plants absorb from soil are actually soluble in water the gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide gets dissolved in water and plants aquatic plants and aquatic animals take in those gases dissolved in water these gases are essential for the survival of aquatic plants and animals. Fish and other marine animals breathe in oxygen present in the water through their gills. Aquatic plants use the carbon dioxide and oxygen dissolved in water for the processes of photosynthesis and respiration. Now we will talk about plant life in water. Plants that are submerged in water lack strong water transport system in their stems. The leaves of such plants absorb water, nutrients and dissolved gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen directly from the water. In most floating plants, tomato are present on the upper surface of the leaf. Also, the upper surface is waxy to repel water. Some water plants such as lotus have leaves floating on the surface to capture sunlight. Some plants Underwater plants have leaves and stem that are flexible enough to move along with water. Generally, in aquatic plants, the roots are either absent or minimal. So, there are few examples of aquatic plants. First is water hyacinth, then duckweed, water lily, extra. Now, let me show you these along with the names and pictures. So, this is your water hyacinth. Water hyacinth and duckweed grow in stagnant water. What is stagnant water? So water that is still, that is not flowing is known as stagnant water. So these plants can be found in pond or waterways of rivers. Where the flow of the river is very slow or it is still. Weeds are wild plants like the duckweed which grow in water can choke the water bodies and make it difficult for other animals to survive in water. Let me show you the next picture. This is water lily. This is duckweed. You might have seen this. So this uh, plant, it's a very small plant that floats over the water. So this is your duckweed. So these kind of plants make uh, difficult for other plants to stay in water because it uh, make it stagnant. It make difficult for other plants to stay in water. So water lilies grow in still or slowly moving water that is rich in oxygen and nutrients. Next picture is water lettuce. Water lettuce is a free floating plant with spongy leaves. It can form thick floating mats covering the pond's surface. You can see there in the picture. The roots are very dense and it floats over the water. The plant floats over the water. It can form thick floating mats covering the pond surface. As a result, it may cause oxygen scarcity and that can kill marine animals. The animals that are living into the water, they can get killed 
because of scarcity of oxygen because the water lattice is over the water the whole pond or the whole lake so it can be a problem for the marine animals now we are going to talk about animals in water even small ponds are generally full of animals some of these are so tiny that they are not visible to the naked eye some animals like fish and tadpoles live in water some like ducks geese swans stay on the water surface other like snails earthworms water beetles and dragonflies live near the water bodies now this picture is of tadpoles you might have seen it in the stagnant water near your house once hatched tadpoles take about 14 weeks to transform into a tiny frog deep sea animals have adapted to survive the constant cold darkness and strong pressure of the water some fish that survive in the deep water have small soft bodies with minimal bone structure let me show you a picture this is your angler fish this fish has a long filament with a light at the end dangling over the top of its head this fish lives under the sea level and lives in the darker sea area other fishes mistake the light for small prey and swim into the angler's enormous mouth where they are quickly eaten next we have archer fish the archer fish eats insects that live above the surface of the water in order to reach the insect the archer fish spits a drop of water from its mouth and knocks the insect into the water like in you like you can see in the picture this fish has perfect aim every time some fishes that live in the dark water of caves are blind most fishes eat other fishes that are smaller than themselves and this is your plankton plankton means tiny tiny living organisms be that animals or plants the smallest fishes eat these tiny plants and animals in the water called plankton so these tiny plants and tiny animals are known as planktons thank you